Did you know there was a study on whether egg cartons are good as acoustic panels? Yes. I mean, no, egg cartons are not good as acoustic panels. And yes, that has been proven in multiple studies. I am Amod from Consonance Acoustics and I know a lot about acoustic panels because I have invented one. This video is about what exactly are acoustical panels and how you can determine which ones to use so that you don't fall like Humpty Dumpty. Get it? Egg joke. No? Anyways, acoustic panels, also known as sound absorbers, are panels used for absorbing sound. Why do you want to absorb sound? Because it reflects and causes chaos in the spaces where it reflects too much. Acoustic panels stop the sound from reflecting back into the space. These panels are divided into three categories depending on the sound absorption mechanism they employ. The first type is porous absorbers, the second type is membrane absorbers and the third is resonating absorbers. Let's find out what porous absorber panels are. All the absorbers that have pores in them, be it large or small, fall into this category. So materials like drapes, carpets, glass wool, perforated ceiling panels, PET or felt panels, etc. fall into this category. The sound waves enter into these absorbers through these cavities. The air molecules near the surface and in these pores are forced to vibrate and the sound energy is dissipated in the form of heat. Absorption of porous absorbers changes with frequency, thickness of the absorber, surface finish, how it is mounted, etc. For example, high frequency acoustic panels become broadband acoustic panels when we introduce an air gap between the absorber and the walls. You can find out how we have installed these panels in another video. The link will be in the description. Porous absorbers will always absorb higher frequencies. With the introduction of an air gap or the increase in their overall thickness, they can extend their absorption in the lower frequency region. Typical absorption coefficient graphs of porous absorbers look like this. Moving on to membrane absorber panels. These absorbers are also known as vibrating panel absorbers. All the absorbers that have non-rigid and non-porous membrane placed on an air gap are membrane absorbers. So thin sheets of MDF with an airspace behind or panels such as our patented low frequency absorber panels fall into this category. The sound waves exert pressure on the surface and the air gap behind it, which vibrate in a flexural mode that result in the absorption of sound. Absorption of membrane absorbers changes with the surface density the air gap and if any other material is present in that air gap, such as rock wool, which changes the impedance of the air gap. Such absorbers can be called base traps because their main function is to absorb only low frequencies. Membrane absorbers are used in places where you want to specifically absorb the lower frequencies and avoid absorption in the higher frequency region. Typical absorption coefficient graphs of membrane absorbers look like this. You can check out in detail how base traps work in another video, the link for which is shared in the description. Now the third kind of acoustic panel is the resonating absorber panel. Resonating absorber panels absorb frequencies that resonate with the panel. I will tell you what it means. So resonating panels have an opening, a neck and an air volume trapped in the cavity. When sound waves interact with the surface, the air volume resonates in the panel at a given frequency which causes that frequency to get absorbed. Because of this mechanism, the range of absorbed frequencies is generally narrow in resonating absorber panels. Wooden slats, sometimes perforated panels with an air gap behind them, hem holes resonators, even earthen pots all act as resonating absorbers. Absorption of resonating panels changes with the area of the opening, the volume of the resonator and the length of the neck. Such kind of absorbers can be used to treat specific problem frequencies that arise in spaces such as studios and home theatres. Typical absorption coefficient graphs of resonating absorber panels look like this. So in summary, porous acoustic panels are for high frequency absorption, membrane acoustic panels are for low frequency absorption, and resonating panels are for specific frequency absorption. That brings us to the end of this video. To learn more about acoustics and such interesting facts, do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to share this video with people who might be considering using egg cartons in their studios to stop them. Bye for now.